Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead. Got another Battlefield 4 video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the assault class weapons, the M416 and the FAMAS. Now, I just recently unlocked the FAMAS, so I don't have a lot of attachments for it. And I find that because of its high rate of fire, it tends to be a little less useful than the M416. The M416 was, of course, probably one of the top three most used weapons in Battlefield 3, and I've got a feeling it will probably remain true in Battlefield 4. It's an effective weapon, it's reliable, it hits pretty hard for an assault weapon. I mean, mo I think most of the assault weapons uh, do about the same amount of damage, which is, I believe, in the 30 range. Except for the SCAR, which I think goes up to about 40 or 45. I'm not, I'm not up on my stats, but you can always go to a Simtech and, and check that. Um, I don't suggest using Battlelog. It's uh, been common in the past that Battlelog ha ha actually has incorrect stats on the weapons. Uh, Simtex a little more, a little more reliable when it comes to that. Comes to that, those guys put a lot of time and effort into making sure that they give the community a lot of uh, a lot of good stats. Now this right here, Levolution. Keep your eyes and ears open because it's a bitch and it'll get you every time. I was, uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. I heard the rumbling. I thought it was just something in the background and. Turns out I, I got hit by a bridge. But back to the M416. As you can see with most weapons, I'm tap firing this weapon. It's extremely effective if you can tap fire. I usually, uh, on this particular weapon, I'm running the hollow sight. I prefer the, the reflex sight or the coyote sight if you can if you can uh, unlock it or I believe get it, get it in a battle pack. Those are probably better sights because they don't obstruct your view that much. But again, as in my last video, I, I really enjoy this thing that DICE is doing, giving us the option to really tailor our weapons to the individual engagements that we might find ourselves in. I've got the two times magnifier up right now. Like I said before, my accuracy isn't the best, so sometimes I need all, all the help, help I'm, I can get. I'm a little, uh, little bit older, so my eyes are going bad. But, um, you know, it's, it's just nice that you have that option. You can, you can flip it down and have... Um, a combat site or a reflex site for those close quarters engagements and then when things get medium to long you can flip up that two times magnifier it's it's really handy it really makes it really makes it so that you can you can have a weapon that is effective at, at all ranges um, but again going back to the tap firing I really suggest that you guys tap fire most of your weapons unless you're just incredible at handling recoil I'm I myself I'm not and I believe the average player is probably not the tap firing is usually the best way to go, and it's been it's been so probably since Bad Company 2, I think, was when tap firing really became like a thing amongst the community, not just something that pro players did all the time. Okay, this next clip is pretty much Battlefield 101, but I still see a lot of players do the exact opposite of this because they want to rack up those uh, those medic points. Remember that the best medicine on the battlefield is fire superiority. So if you see a player go down right here, make sure you eliminate the threat before you try to jump in and start resonant. One of the, you know, the, the, that battlefield staple of, you know, don't revive me, bro, because you get, you get these guys that are just out there for the medic points, and they'll revive somebody before they take care of the threat, and then you end up getting killed, and then getting the guy you revived killed, which... It's just, it's just no fun. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it sucks to see, uh, to see yourself get revived just to get shot down by the guy who just killed you three seconds earlier. So make sure you guys eliminate the threat first before you start running around trying to revive your buddies. A little more, a uh, little bit longer engagements here, taking out targets at distance with a two times magnifier. And here, you see this a lot too. You see two guys standing off. Sniper and myself. He takes a shot at me. I'm injured pretty bad. So instead of standing there and peeking the corner again so that he could get that last headshot on me with his little pesky sniper rifle, I'm going to try to outflank him and catch him with his pants down. He was waiting for me to peek that corner so he could shoot me right in the eye hole. And you, I just, you're just not going to give that guy the chance. So make sure that if you do run into those situations, where you're peeking corners and taking hits and peeking corners and taking hits, especially against a sniper. Just just relocate. Try to try to attack him from the side, try to attack him from the rear. But if you peek that corner nine times out of ten, unless you're just quicker than him, or unless he's already really badly injured, he's gonna take that one shot and take you down. 
Here's some footage with the FAMAS. Uh, newly unlocked FAMAS. I believe this is the only attachment I have for it. The, the reflex sight. But I was getting shot up by this pesky door gunner. And I think he was thinking that he was safe high in the sky in his little, little metal bird of death. And I'm able to reach out and touch him from a long distance with this tiny little FAMAS. I thought that was a funny little clip. Usually, usually you don't see long range shots like that uh, from, from a FAMAS. Now, like I said in the first part of the video, the FAMAS has an incredibly high rate of fire. I think it's like 900 or 1000 rounds per minute. So you wind up burning through your ammo pretty quick. And I just miffed that shot, almost wasting the entire magazine on him. When you're in situations like this where you have more than one target or more than one threat in the area, don't sit there and try to change your magazine. Um, switch to your sidearm and take the bad guys out that way. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.